of Frida. Patricia O'Connor and Frida Reba Darcy here. And what a day. What a nice day. It's pretty breezy out. It's been windy for the last few days. You can see the trees rustling around. We dropped power yesterday for about four hours. Um, somebody was up the shenanigans or maybe we had a limb in a line somewhere, but they got us back up. However, our little power outage caused me a gremlin issue when my lights came back on my patch cord died so i grabbed another one out of the junk drawer and it died because it wasn't as, it wasn't uh rated as high as the original one i had so i'm kind of limping along um it's not really a voltage issue it's a cheap patch cord issue i think so i could probably you know i could actually fix this with a cube tap um so there's a little trip to the store in my future but otherwise i could possibly uh also tie these lights into one another i think and eliminate the need to plug i could tie i could plug that light into that light and then I wouldn't have both lights plugged into that cord. Uh, it might be that I could use that piece of info to help me somewhere if I think about it. But anyway, getting lost in thought while I'm making videos for the people. Um, we're just going to take a quick look at what's going on with the trees. They're all doing pretty good. I uh, rotated my trees around the other day like one tends to do and it was in the middle of these wind issues and what i saw was as i was seeing more yellow on the pines like what we're seeing and uh it's on the windy side so i had seen some of that last year it seemed worse that i you know when i was noticing it last year it seemed like it was windier but it affected the trees less uh, but then, you know, I'm not actually sitting on the rail all day in the wind and the sun or whatever. So it might be that had my, um, butt actually been perched on the rail, I would say otherwise. But, um, one thing that all of the trees, and it has been a hard year for the trees this year. I've heard other people say that they had, um, bigger problems with, uh, pests and stuff, but, uh, one thing that the only trees that I had trouble with is this guy was changing leaves at the same time that all the rest of them were taken ill. So I think it got a little of that too. But that guy definitely had some uh, leaf attack action going on yet. And I started seeing those two pines yellow on it about the same time. And that either uh, went down, I keep saying it's spider mites, but it was powdery mildew. Um, it just caused uh, just caused a huge dieback while it was in dormancy. So it had been a hard year, but what did all of those have in common? It may or may not have been their issues. They may have had a different version of their own issues, but one thing they still all have in common is they're all on the rail. Uh, for the most part, I think the oaks are pretty good with the rail. I have seen that guy suffer from wind damage. I have seen that guy suffer a little yellowing of the needles last year and a little yellowing of the needles this year on this one, but it wasn't too much. I thought we could live with it. I thought the part where they got primo sun probably made up for the few days where we get 15 mile an hour breezes. Now I'm thinking differently. I'm thinking that um, my volt grows. 740 watt a piece grow lights uh, are making good light. Everything that's in them seems to be happy to be in them and happy to be out of the wind. So, uh, this table can't get here fast enough. This guy and that guy 
and that guy, and that guy, and that guy are going on that table almost immediately. Uh, I can spread these out a little better and make more room for more trees. I don't think, I don't think that means that I won't be able to use this. I just think I shouldn't have the pines up there. Uh, so that's what's going to go on there. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm concerned with. And those are um, kind of what I'm doing about it. Take a little look at our, uh, our show hen. It's a different issue for this one. I don't really think that this necessarily has a problem with, uh, with the wind. And I don't really think the big ponderosa does either, but if it does, it's a beautiful tree. And right now it has its back to us. I would have absolutely no problem rotating that baby around just a little bit so that she's looking right at us. And the problem that I see with this is I'm constantly, I'm constantly checking it to see, I mean, it, you know, it, it almost gets like sometimes the dash of your car gets hot or something. It isn't that, but it isn't far off, you know, it's enough that you, that I should be concerned about it. And I think that that direct heating up of the sun, uh, this doesn't feel to me as warm as this does. So I don't think it's sitting on the copper that's causing these pots to heat up. It's just something that tiny little pots do. And being over here under the lights, which are cooler, uh, may help that. It'll definitely get them out of the wind. So that's what's going on there. Uh, someone who watched the last video was uh, commenting on uh, my not mentioning what my grow lights were they are they are grow uh volt grow uh they are 700 and 40 watts each and from what i can see is they are comparable to the thousand watt metal halide that we uh that we used to use that used so much electricity and made so much heat and actually would burn things that were this close to them. Uh, these guys make no heat, like none. And uh, I hope that didn't flash you too bad. I don't think it did though. It's, it's like the iris adjusts really quick and it's not too much to look at. When you look at it, it doesn't look, you know, intense like that. So it's just all in the spectrum. Uh, so they are also dimmable. There's a switch on them where you can turn them down like three stops. Uh, there you can also link them together so that you can then hook that up to a, um, to a bank that'll go on or off as you want them to. And uh, so yeah, there's all kind of configurations you can have on that. My configuration is place over bonsai trees, plug in. Uh, that's as far as we're going to get with it. But if this were some big indoor operation, they would all be hooked up to timers and they would be doing all kind of tricks. Um, also, you can see that's two banks. There is an option to fold uh, one side down. Uh, if this space would have been half that big, one bank could have hung straight down as side lighting or on the other side, straight down as side lighting. Uh, I don't really have any need to do anything bizarre like that, but we could have just as easily hung it from the center in one side and let one and let the other half hang down to provide side light for stuff. So those are all the options you have with those guys. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the only other thing I wanted to, um, touch on is uh, the last couple of days I have been collecting more seed pods for um, the coastal redwoods uh, and I have like uh, I've got a pretty good collection going of those guys frankly and uh, what I haven't found is acorns 
there's a bunch of acorns that I want to that I want to um, collect because I want to start a bunch of oaks. And the reason I want to do that is I, I want to start my own smaller bonsai trees instead of digging up the smaller ones that I see in the uh, yard of the apartment. Uh, so far, they haven't liked being dug up, and if I leave them, they get weed eaten. So I'm going to try to start my own. Uh, hopefully, I can do as good a job um, as a squirrel. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. But yeah, um, so right now I have the coastal redwood seeds uh, in the refrigerator. They've been there for about five days. I'm going to give them another two days. Then I'll put them in some, a pan with some moss and probably start doing some, some kind of uh, germination system. Meanwhile, me and... Um, what are you eating? I give you stuff. And I bet I bet you're not eating the stuff that I give you. Anyway, me and Lord Butt here are gonna go for a walk and pick up acorns, uh, acorns, acorns, whichever it is. I'm not even sure which is I'm supposed to say, but um, the oak tree that's next door down there on the ground is just now at the end of blooming, and I don't really see any acorns on the ground. Plus, they've dumped a lot of. Uh, red cypress mulch on the ground which would make last year's hard to find so when we're going for our walks and doing our thing we'll uh i'll make a trip and see if i can find some uh because i want to germinate some i want to uh start some small i want to start some small oak trees and i was watching a video the other day one of our one of our group uh jay who also has uh uh, Blue Jay Bonsai was uh, I was watching one of his videos and he's starting a bunch of uh, near bonsai not really bonsai trees but little succulent things that he's giving away for the holidays and I thought that's that's a good idea the idea about starting all those dawn redwoods is uh, I want to plant them outdoors and since I don't have any place of my own to plant them I, I would just go out in the wild whereas normally um, we'd be all about uh, grabbing that tree growing on the side of a rock. I, I just thought it would be cool to go out and, and plant some coastal redwoods. The coastal redwoods on our property, the seeds that they make, seldom have a chance to make it anywhere where they will grow. They hit the ground and get bagged up. So I don't know what happens to them once they go to the dump, but I bet they don't turn into uh, coastal redwoods after that. So maybe this would be a good time to Get about 20 seedlings, give to friends in the holidays, or plant in the wild, and give Frida and I something to do when we're out there, uh, something productive. So that covers that. Oh, the little bowl. I got a little bowl. That's with molasses and water. That's just a few drops of molasses. Um, hummingbirds are. Um, like addicted to sugar, like seriously addicted to sugar. So yeah, that's for them. And they've also got a hummingbird feeder, but um, they tend to like my bowl of molasses water better when I'm not standing over it. Uh, and they will actually, I was noticing earlier, I was, uh, I had hummingbirds in the house. They were, uh, having at these guys. They love them. They'll fly right in the house and hit those flowers and then grab a drink and then grab a dip on their way out, which is fine. I think it's absolutely fine. So thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe and uh, we'll drop another one in a day or two when our, when our table shows up. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.